Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Fijo for Liaison for ACIP, the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. Welcome to this new segment in the American College of Physicians Adult Immunization Video Series. The topic, what you need to know about COVID vaccine boosters. COVID vaccines, we now have four of them. Two mRNA, one by Pfizer, another by Moderna, one adenoviral vector vaccine by Janssen that's not preferred, and now there's Novavax. Although Novavax is the new kid on the block, it was not initially authorized for kids, but now it is. Novavax uses a more traditional vaccine platform. It's a protein subunit vaccine with an adjuvant added called Matrix M, which magnifies its immune response. Two doses given three to eight weeks apart is a primary series. Boosting with Novavax has now been authorized for those 18 and older with some caveats. It's only for those either unable or unwilling to get the updated Omicron-specific mRNA bivalent booster. And it can't be given until at least six months after a primary series. This Novavax booster is the same product used in primary Novavax vaccination. It's monovalent, so it doesn't specifically target Omicron BA4 and BA5 subvariants like the Pfizer and Moderna bivalent versions. But for those who can't or refuse to get a bivalent mRNA boost, it's great to have this as an option. FDA has authorized and ACIP now recommends a bivalent Omicron specific mRNA COVID vaccine booster you have to have completed a primary COVID vaccine series to be eligible, but that primary series can be with any COVID vaccine product. The time between last vaccine dose and getting the booster is at least two months. If you've already had COVID, you still should get it, but CDC guidance says wait at least three months after COVID infection to get the boost. Bivalent means it's half original strain and half Omicron, BA4, BA5. Remember, mRNA COVID vaccines trigger antibodies to spike protein. And although BA4 and BA5 are different subvariants and have different mutations, their spike protein just happens to be the same. That's why this new bivalent vaccine targets both. Omicron-specific bivalent COVID vaccines were studied in more than 1,400 individuals, but those human studies targeted BA1, and BA1 is no longer circulating. That's why FDA directed the manufacturers to make a booster targeting BA4 and BA5 spike protein. Changing the strains for a vaccine that's already been studied is not new. We do this for flu vaccine every year. So what's the evidence behind bivalent boosters? Omicron BA1 bivalent studies found adding a second COVID virus to the original vaccine broadens the antibody response and results in higher antibody titers for Omicron variants and higher antibody titers against other COVID variants as well. And the resulting antibody titers were as high or higher than for vaccines containing only the original vaccine strain. And there's good news for those who've already suffered a COVID infection, and many people have. Bivalent COVID vaccines administered after prior COVID infection resulted in the highest antibody titers. So what about co-administration with other vaccines? It's fine to give both the flu shot and any COVID vaccine at the same visit. In fact, CDC is encouraging it. It's also fine to give COVID vaccines, including these new bivalent boosters with other needed vaccines, with one exception, monkeypox. Primary vaccination and boosting saves lives. In June, 2022, people aged 50 and older with two or more booster doses had 14 times lower risk of dying from COVID as compared to unvaccinated people and three times lower risk of dying from COVID than people with only one booster dose. Vaccine efficacy wanes with time. Most people are now at least six months out from their last vaccine dose. Omicron is dominant, it's more transmissible. Our current vaccines don't work as well against it. 
this new booster should change that. CDC recommendations for the bivalent mRNA boosters and for Novavax monovalent booster for those unable or unwilling to get an mRNA boost are on the CDC website. At least for now, these vaccine doses are free. For the American College of Physicians, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer.